again. Um, I just want to start off by saying God is good, isn't he? He is so good. Um, I'm sort of nervous. I've never spoken in front of a crowd before, <laughs> so y'all just um, bear with me. Um, like I said, my name is Ashley Peace. I'm 34 years old. I'm a single mother. Um, I have a mother. Excuse me. <laughs> How did y'all know that? I am a single mother of five children. Um, I'm from a small town named Tryon, Georgia, uh, called Tryon, Georgia. Um, I am a client at um, Mary Hall Freedom House right now. But just to give you a little background, um, I come from a abusive relationship of eight years. And um, I just had enough one day. I just asked God. I, I just dropped my knees. And I, I just prayed. I said, God, just take my life. I, I can't do this no more. I'm, I'm tired of the drugs. I'm tired of not having no control. I'm tired of this man controlling my life. I just I just want out. Um, and at the same time, I'm, I'm on my knees praying. My dad is at home on his knees. He's praying that God touched me and that God saved me. I knew I was going to cry. <laughs> And then my stepmother came to me one day and she said, Actually, I resent you. I resent you for the hurt and the pain that you put in your dad's heart. She said, I walked by the door and your dad's on his knees and he's just crying. And he's praying that God just, you know, just take his life and make mine, I mean, for, for, take his life and to give me life. But um, he was tired of seeing me struggle and he was tired of seeing me in the abusive relationship I was in and the drugs that I was in. And, and um, God is so good. He, um, at the time, I didn't realize that God was actually doing me a favor or um, drug task force came in my house and um, they took me to jail for possession of drugs. And um, when I got out of there, the, um, the judge said that my kids needed to go live with my parents and that I was, wasn't a fit mother because I was um, on drugs, you know. And um, but little did I know that with God doing a divine intervention in my life, He was um, answering my dad's prayer and my prayer at the same time. I asked God just to do something for me, just open doors for me, Lord, that His will be done. And um, so I had to thank Him for that night that I went to jail. I had to thank Him for those people coming in my house and taking my kids and because it's made me who I am today. Um, when I got home from jail, I picked up the phone and um, I started calling around. I called the crisis number. And they gave me the number to Mary Hall Freedom House. Well, Mary Hall Freedom House has a, a long waiting list for you to get into Mary Hall. And um, I was there the next day. Um, God favored me. And um, he seen that I needed the help, that I wanted the help. And I was tired of living the life that I was living, so he put me there. And through Mary Hall, um, I have now got six months clean. And <laughs> Thank you. And I... Um, they introduced me to Miss Tilly's program, Every Woman Works. I tried to tell someone, like, look, I haven't had jobs since 1995. I've been a stay-at-home mother. Um, since I've had the arrest, I've lost my, I had Section 8. I've lost my Section 8. I've lost my housing. I've lost, I lost everything. I lost my self-respect. I lost my kids. And then um, I end up at Mary Hall, and the doors open for me at Every Woman Works. And um, since I've been at Every Woman Works, they taught me how to, I've never even really heard of a resume. I've been a stay-at-home mom for so many years. But I, on my resume, I was, they turned my stay-at-home mom bill, uh, skills and ability into a home maintenance coordinator. <laughs> <laughs> and I want you to know I went, I've had five interviews, four out of the five wanted to hire me. And, um, <laughs> and, um, I was to the point where I was turning them down, and I haven't had a job in 15 years since I've been able to work. And um, I've now gained employment through Every Woman Works. And um, not only the employment that I've gained, I've gained self-confidence. I've gained my self-esteem. I've gained my self-respect. And I know that I don't, I don't have to have a man in my life. The only man I need is God because he makes it happen. I mean, he's made it happen for me. Thank you for letting me share. <laughs>